We have another group of plants in the reserve that are very pretty. They're lupins. Okay. They're members of um, which family? The pea family, Fabaceae. And what are the three that we, we tend to find here? The main ones that we've got, in fact, it may be the only ones, are the arroyo and the um, collard and the stinging. So let's start with the arroyo. How would you describe the color, the shape of the flower, and, okay. and so on? The, the color is a blue-purple kind of color, and the flowers are in whorls along the stem, quite, quite close together, so that you've got a lot of, of blossom. They're the, the typical pea-shaped flower, which has a lower, almost like a beak, and then an upper part. Um, it's kind of two colors of, of blue and more, and more of a yellow blue. And the, the leaves are quite different from the others in that they are palm, palmate and the tips are rounded. They're quite big leaflets with rounded tips and the stem is very succulent. So the foliage is a fairly good indicator before it even blooms if you see right. that and, foliage. Right, and it's a good indicator for IDing it too. Right, so that's the worry. What about the collard? Lupin? The collard is more of a magenta colored flower and the flowers are more spread out along the stem. They're not in whorls. They're single flowers or single florets. Um, and the, the leaves there are palmate, but they're a little uh, less broad than the arroyo, and they're truncated, i.e. got a blunt edge, a blunt end. Um, oh yes, the, 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 the reason that it's called lupinus truncatus is because of the leaf. But the reason it's called collard is that there, there's a, a swelling by the, the base of the leaf. And then the stinging lupin. The stinging, the, the leaves have hairs on them and just right from the, the, the time that there's little leaves showing, you can tell it's going to be a stinging lupin because of the, the hairs. And that's the main feature of, of it. It, it's covered in, in, in hairs that are nasty. <laughs> and how do the flowers compare the, then? The flowers are uh, more of a magenta color than, than purple. Little florets are spread out along the stem, but not nearly as widely spread as in the collared lupin. But they're not in whorls like the arroyo. Are there differences between the three, either in terms of where you'd find them, the habitat, or overall growth patterns, the communities they live in, or Not are they going to really. be found they're, they're pretty much in the same pretty, areas? Pretty much the same areas. Okay. And, and the blooming time, when would you first see them and, and last expect to see them? We see them in February, even, um, and they can bloom into May, but it depends where they are. Here, they bloomed early this year and are pretty much gone in, in April.